Hey guys, so I did this little speed paint and I just decided to make a video out of it. But like I've said before, I don't have the best, um, I don't have like a set way of recording traditional speed paints, that's why it's at a weird angle and all that. But what I did was I stacked three books on the side of my desk, then I put the camera on it, and it's one of those big kind of clunky cameras so it's not very flat or anything. So I propped the back end up with uh, my MP3 player, so it's just kind of pointed down a little bit. Anyway, I don't think it's the best setup, but I don't have a better one right now. And it doesn't look too bad, you can kind of see what's going on. So I'm sorry if you don't like the angle, but I don't have a tripod or anything, so... Yeah, on the other hand, this, this is a little bit of a long video, and I've never really done a like a commentary on my speed paints, but I decided to start doing these again. I mean, I know I stopped for a while, and I have a good reason for that, but I decided to start doing these again and add a little bit of, you know, commentary and all that. So with this drawing, I am drawing one of my characters who... I actually have another speed paint of her and another character, and I'll leave it in the description. This was d the other speed paint was done like over a year ago though I think. Anyway, this character of mine, it's kind of, I don't know, it's kind of hard to explain, but she's basically got abilities that most people don't because she's a descendant of a mountain spirit, so the story takes place in like this uh, sort of Nordic region I guess, and I was actually pretty disappointed when Frozen came out just because of that. I'm like, no, now everyone's gonna think I copied it when I, I actually created this story at least three months before. Probably more like a year before, but I don't remember when it came out. But, uh, yeah. But this, uh, the speed paint itself, I wasn't planning on doing a speed paint at first because I have another thing I'm working on. But I just sort of decided, you know, why not? Because I've got a I've got somewhat of a setup now, and I wanted to draw this anyway, but it's not the best drawing I've done. I've done a lot better ones, but it's not that bad either. I guess it's just sort of when I'm doing a full full drawing, I sort of want to do a speed paint of it. But yeah, don't expect very many more Copic speed paints, because all of my markers are dying. They don't like me or something. I don't know. Yeah, this commentary is pretty random. It's my first time doing it, so... Yeah. But, okay, some updates and stuff. First of all, it's gonna be my birthday in, like, two weeks, and that makes me happy because I'm getting old. Actually, it's gonna be my birthday in, like, ten days or something like that. Anyway, I'm getting old. Yeah. <sighs> On the other hand, it'll also be one of my character's birthdays in on November 24th my character, which none of you on YouTube probably know because I've done some drawings of him but never speed paints. His uh, name is Connor Walker. He's one of my characters that is more recently created, I guess, but... Well, he's been around for a long time, but I've never actually, like, created a design for him or anything. He was one of those characters that I've thought of in books, like, in a... I've always thought of him in a literature-styled sto story, not like a manga or anything. But, same with like three or four other characters, but I finally decided to put them down on paper. And I'll probably end up doing a webcomic for him at one point if I ever get around to doing any webcomics. So yeah, it's gonna be his birthday, yay! He's gonna be old! <laughs> but I'm not really sure what to do. I mean, I know a lot of people like celebrate their characters' birthdays, and I always do too. Even though it's kind of weird, I'll admit. A lot of people think I'm obsessed because of that. They're like, are you sure that's healthy? And yes, I'm sure it's healthy because, you know, I like it. It's not doing anything bad, so. I made a cake for one of my characters once and then I ate it. <laughs> it's just an excuse to make birthday cake, seriously, okay? So, I'm not really sure what to do. I'm working on this little thing that was a project I was talking about earlier. It's kind of going to take a long time, but... I... I'm planning on doing like a little video for him because I want to start doing that for my characters. Have like 
on their birthdays have make them like a little introduction video thing which I didn't come up with this idea until now which is kind of sad because one of my characters uh, Vivian her birthday is in September and that just passed so yeah you're gonna have to wait till next year be patient <laughs> But I don't really have much to say about the drawing itself, besides the fact that this took me two days. The coloring really only took me like an hour, but the drawing took me probably three, including inking. And I had to stop because I, I was draw up drawing this until like midnight. And then I think I finished the hair last night, or maybe it was today, I don't remember. But either way, um, if you saw me typing, I was talking to someone on Skype, and I was also listening to music on my computer, because like I said, I use the mp3 player to prop up the camera, which is kind of weird, but you know. Overall, I'm pretty happy with how the drawing turned out. I'm not very good at like profile drawings, so I'm really happy with how the side view face and body turned out, because that's probably the, my worst enemy <laughs> when it comes to full body drawings, unless it's some kind of complicated pose, but... Uh, if there's a particular character you guys want to see more of next time I draw them, I'll do speed paint. But like I said, don't expect too many more Copic drawings because like I said, they're dying and I keep saying that, but I hope, I'm hoping to get some refills soon. Uh, you probably won't, you won't notice it yet, but later on I actually on camera refill one of my markers because it just died on me. But I know the uh, background isn't very realistic color-wise, but it just fit the whole color scheme I was going for, so I added a lot more blue to the background with the whole like mountains and snow and all that than would realistically be there. But I like the way it looks, and I don't think it turned out that bad either. It, it kind of fits the mood, so I'm going to keep it like that. Sorry if you're going to complain. There is no logic to this drawing, really. I don't know why, but... It, a lot of people, whenever I show them my art, or whenever they just look at my art without my permission, which happens a lot more often, they'll be like, Why is she wearing a sleeveless dress in the middle of a snowy mountain? And I'm like, it doesn't have to make sense, okay? It's... It's art. A lot of it's symbolic. Not only that, but it's also manga, and that doesn't have to make any logical sense. Just most of the time, it does actually. Most of the time my stories do, but... I didn't feel like putting any logic into this drawing. I just wanted to draw her, and I wanted to draw her in this like white dress thingy, so I did. And people who have a problem, you can shut your mouth because I don't care. <laughs> so uh, later on I add a little bit of pink to the drawing, just kind of like contrast with the rest of the blue, because as I was doing this, you know, I liked it and all, but I just realized there was way too much of one color. And it kind of didn't like, no, there I am refilling, but there's way too much of one color and so it kind of didn't fit like the, it looked a little bit boring without the pink, so I added a bit later. And yeah, I'm not sure what else I have to say. Other than my character's birthday is coming up and I'm going to celebrate it like a total weirdo. And this is why I don't have very many friends. Oh, another thing, I used a neutral gray to kind of blend out the blue, which I was really worried it wasn't going to work, but I don't have a light, um, like, cool gray. So I was worried that wouldn't work out, but it actually it turned out really nice, and I'm coloring the sky, but you probably can't see because the lamp was on and it was a bit bright. But I think that this drawing actually looks a lot better on camera than it does in real life, because it looks a lot more blended than it really is. It's kind of hard to blend the darker colors with the lighter colors. But, as you can see, I'm adding the pink right now. This video is almost over. I have a lot more to talk about, but that's okay. Overall, I'm just going to do a video for my character, and I hope you look forward to it. And I'll see you guys later. Oh, and also this drawing can be on is on DeviantArt, so I'll put a link in the description. Bye, guys.